In this video, we will continue with operations with vectors. You will find this on page 238 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Relative to the origin O, the position vectors of points A and B are given as OA, position vector, OB, position vector. The point C is such that AB equals BC. Okay. Find the unit vector in the direction of OC. Let's start. This OA, OB. So what will AB be? It's in terms of position vectors, it's the second one, OB, minus the first one, OA. Substitute it and get AB. Okay. Now, I said, and let's just look here, uh, BC. And now I'm going to find, that's AB, I'm going to find BC. So BC is going to be OC, I just want to see OC minus OB. That is that. So the statement is that. But now I want to make OC the subject of the formula. So I take this OB over, and this negative becomes a positive. And then basically I'm adding, I say AB plus OB. I'm doing that, and that I will find OC. And remember, if OC, then the coordinates points of C will be 6, negative 3, and 6. Keep it in mind, if this is OC. So the magnitude of OC is that 6 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 6 squared, square root of 8, and it's 9. And then um, find the unit vector. In the, the, now I find the unit vector. So it's 1 over 9 because I want to make it 1. And then I just write my 6i minus 3j plus 6. I can leave it like that. I don't have to multiply it. In. Okay, this is a typical exam question. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you want. Finish. Let's start with number one. Okay, I think it's good that I first write down all of them. So OB is I minus 2J minus 2K. OC is 4I minus j plus 3k uh, and od equals 3i minus 4k okay where o is the origin let's start number a write down the coordinates of point D. Now remember, this is OD. So D, I now just remember I, so it's 0, J. So that's why, and it's because it's three dimensional. So it's 3, 0, and negative 4. That will be the coordinate of D. Okay, let's go on. Number B. Find CD. Okay, now remember CD in terms of position vectors, that's very important, so it's a very helpful too. So it's the second one minus the first one. So what is OD? There is OD, so it's 3i minus 4k. What is OC? It's going to be 4i minus j plus 3k. And that's going to be 3i minus 4k minus 4i plus j minus 3k. And if I simplify this, it's negative 1i. Uh, this is negative 7. No, no, no. First j. Uh, okay. I always like to underline. There is the i's. Uh, there is the j. And there is the k. Usually then I don't make a mistake. Okay, so plus the j minus the 7k. And that's cd. Okay, and now find a unit vector in the direction of ob, ob in terms of ij and k. Okay, so first, okay, actually this is actually easier than this one. I, was, I actually want you to check and I hope you will see it in number 2. 
is is where we we write it, and then this one is not given, and that too is given. Very good example. Do it more than once. Okay, but in this one, it's actually very easy. So find a unit vector. Okay, so first I'm going to find the magnitude of OB. I want to go to another color. Um, so let's just find OB, the magnitude. Okay, now where is OB? It was also yellow. It's a nice thing. So, and this was a 1 squared plus negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared, which is going to be 1 plus 4 plus 4, and that's the square root of 9, which is going to be 3. Move this, and then I can say, okay, let's move up. Um, unit vector. I think I will even want to make it right here for. A unit vector in the direction of OB. And now, because it's free, it's just a third. And what was OB? Okay, where there was OB. So it's a third I minus 2J minus 2K. You can leave it like this, or you can go a little step further, and you can say one third I minus two thirds J minus two thirds K. And that will be the unit vector in the direction of OB.